gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter got it everyone and welcome back to the channel this is gonna be a short quick fast and a hurry video i just had to get it out but before i do make sure you like share and subscribe to my video channel okay so we can blow up together and i hope you're ready to see another must-see video coming tonight maybe not this one but the one for real housewives of atlanta episode two that's coming up in about maybe 45 more minutes so we're gonna get on into this story that showbiz cheat sheet vlogging um, Paige brought out on Miss Kenya Moore. They tried to say, and it was Perry Carpenter that brought out the story over there at his uh, place of employment. Again, that show me his cheat sheet. They tried to say Kenya Moore forgot the date of her baby when baby Brooklyn was born. Let's go on to it. Let's get into that article title. It says, Awkward Real Housewives of Atlanta Kenya Moore struggles with exactly when her daughter was born on oh, Watch What Happens Live. Now, you know that's Andy Cohen's show. He's an executive producer over there. Yes, yeah, she's making all that money. But they tried to put Kenya on Front Street, and she forgot. She stuttered. All right? Like, almost telling a lie about baby Brooke. And look at her. She's so cute. I know she is. Yeah, yes, she is. But anyway, yeah, that she said she forgot when her baby was born. She was trying to correlate times on when she got back to the show, when Brooklyn was married. You know, I don't know if she was keeping up with the lies or what not, or if it indeed was a lie. All of this is allegedly. I'm just bringing it out to you. You take it on how you see it. Okay, but getting into the article, it said, talk about an awkward moment. Doing an appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore seemed to get her daughter's birthday mixed up with another day. The comment added fuel to the rumors that Moore staged her daughter's due date to coincide with the premiere of season 11 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And let's just sit and let that ponder for a little bit. Let's just sit there and let it ponder. Could Kenya Moore be lying about her daughter's um, exact time when she was born? To coincide with the taping of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Could that be? Could that be? Could that be? Well, let's see. Let's go with it. Let's get into the article. Maybe they can tell us a little something, something. Okay? It goes on to say, Did Kenya Moore forget her daughter's birthday? Moore was on the set of Watch What Happens Live on November 3rd during their interview. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star told Cohen that today is her birthday, referring to her daughter, Brooklyn's Doris Dated. The two also watched a clip of Moore's baby girl prompting a big smile from the Real Housewives of Atlanta star. The moment was a sweet tribute to Moore's child, but it was ruined after fans pointed out that she got her own daughter's birthday completely wrong oh my goodness and that's bad when a fan or a follower of you have to tell you when your baby was born now what's up with that kenya what's up twirl turning on you girl that twirl can't keep up with all your lies now you gotta come correct you gotta stay focused that's the game that's the game plan that's not in that article that's my sidebar and it says going back to the article according to all about the t Moore gave birth to her baby on November 4th, not the 3rd, okay? Do we have any documents that can tell us truly when and where it was? Okay, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm playing devil advocate right now. But going back to the article, it said fans remember the birth date well because it happened to coincide with the premiere date of season 11 on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Bravo had fired Kenya Moore, okay? So here we go again. Bravo had fired Kenya Moore. We got some speculation on she quit, she did this, that, and third. But I'm telling you what's in print, what's in black and white. They said Bravo fired Kenya Moore after season 10. So some fans theorized she lied about the due date to take attention away from the premiere. And again, this is not me. This is what I'm reading. And y'all can take it for what it's worth. All right. There is no telling if Moore was lying about her daughter's real birthday or not. But there is no arguing that she got the date wrong. Doing her interview with Cohen, which is pretty embarrassing for the new mom. Yep. See, yeah, okay. I'm just saying. Y'all saying Kenya don't get down and lie. And she the honest person up there. She got it going on just that and first. I mean, Brooklyn 
it's definitely not a model. She's not trying to work in Hollywood. So why would Kenya have to lie? You know, let her lie. If she want to lie to get jobs in Hollywood and she want to fake her, her age because of she want to get roles and they don't want to cast her because of her age, let her do the lying, okay? But you ain't got to lie on Miss Doris Brooklyn. No, you don't, honey. Let her be her own self. Can you turn it out like some of these parents be going here using their uh, children's social security number to get credit and all this stuff? Can you? Kenya, we're watching you, okay? We're watching you, and we will put you on front street. But that's just a fraudulent, piss-poor parenting right there. But anyway, going back to the article, it said there has been a lot of speculation about Kenya Moore's return to Real Housewives of Atlanta in season 12. While there are still many questions surrounding her marriage and split from Mark Daly, Moore has been accused of returning only for the paycheck. <laughs> Well, we don't want uh, baby Brooklyn out there being homeless, so it's okay. It's okay if she had to return back for a paycheck. Hell, everybody got to work, and legal work is better than illegal work or not working at all and living on the system. That's what I say. Okay, but getting back into the article, it said during a recent appearance on the Wendy Williams show, Moore opened up about her alleged money issues and insisted that the reports are completely false. I make my own money more share. Okay. All right, Ken. That's what you say. All right. Okay. To some come up that says different, we're going to believe what you say. All right. Going back to the article, it says Williams, who once again, <coughs> excuse me, Williams, who once again friends with more Real Housewives of Atlanta rival, Nene Leakes, did not stop there. The host commented on how Leakes is actually the top earner on the show, which more was quick to correct. That's not true. Kenya Moore told her, Candy makes the most money. So if I was coming for anybody's purse and bag, it would be Candy's. Candy, I'm blinking my eye, girl. I'm winking, winking. You better look and listen, okay? She said she'll come for you. If anything happened to Nene, you see, she already got you in the back of her pocket saying she's going to X you out. I'm just saying, pay attention to people that be speaking. And they ain't speaking of you nicely, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it said Bravo has not confirmed the salaries for season 12, but it is possible that Burris makes the most. After all, both Leaks and Moore have taken seasons off in the past, and that should account for Candy Burris making more money, okay? Nina says, why are Neeks and Lily and uh, why are Nene Leaks and Kenya Moore still feuding? Many speaking of Leaks. Moore appeared to make amends with her during season 10, but their friendship completely fell apart when Moore, Moore left the series the following year. In her interview with Williams, Moore explained exactly what went wrong between her and Leeks. Her Moore, she did not appreciate how Leeks completely ignored her during her pregnancy and never asked how she was doing when I had a high-risk pregnancy that I was I wanted all my entire life. She never once called me. Uh, Kenya Moore explained when I did show up, she never checked on my child. She never said, is everything okay? Yeah, Kenya's going over here whining and whining and whining. But we're going to sit and listen. We're going to sit and give the story, the article. It said, Lise also did not check on Moore when she left the series. For Moore, it seemed like she didn't care about her because she was no longer a part of the series. When Lee started insulting her during her pregnancy, Moore had enough and is still not on good terms with her co-star. That could change as the season progresses, but it sounds like Moore and Leeks will never make up at this point. And I'm just going to say, you know, Kenya, Nene don't get in, she don't go and contact anybody that's not on the show anymore. <laughs> I mean, out of sight, out of mind, you know. It's just that's how Nene floats, okay? You can't take her a, a, a serious unless you're in her presence, okay? Don't count on Nene when the chips are down. She probably ain't and won't be there for you. So you can't really count on her as an ally or any of your cast members. You should have people outside of your co-workers, your work, your job, your place of employment. You should have good friends, good family members to count on. You don't necessarily have to be in cahoots with them and running the streets and comings and goings with them, your co-workers, your constituents, your colleagues. Come on, girl, pull up. Your team twirl, remember? Okay, you got the power. But anyway, it goes on to say more shares her baby weight in record time. Meanwhile, just to add more uh, funness to King's more baby drama, fans were surprised at how quickly she lost her baby weight in the months after her daughter's birth. 
more actively posted photos of her transformation on social media, including shots that showed her rocking some ass only six months after her daughter was born. The rapid weight loss has only added fuel to the rumors that Moore is lying about her baby's birth. Okay, I'm telling you, Kenya, I don't know they're catching up with your baby, but she takes a beautiful picture. She's like sculpted uh, after giving uh, birth to baby Brooklyn. I ain't mad at her, honey. Get you got it, you get it, you put it in shape. Go on with it, honey. Flaunt, flaunt, flaunt. And it just goes on to a lot of other refurbished, recycled news, and we're not going to go into that. But that concluded that particular um, article that was written on well by um, oh I forget the little man's name, but it, he's an employee of Showbiz Cheat Sheet, another blogging site, and he put out that article. Uh, around November 2nd, I think it was, but I, I don't know how it got past me. No, it was November 9th, so it's not that, it's, it was yesterday, so I'm okay, I'm okay. But it was titled Awkward Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kenya Moore Struggles with Exactly When Her Daughter Was Born on WWHA. And now, in defense of Kenya, sometimes we do lose our brain cells, or uh, some of it, because we had to share it with the baby. So sometimes everything can be a little fuzzy. Going, don't get on Kenya more pretty much because she kind of slightly forgot her. She just embraced it that you know she's with her miracle baby, she's with her baby, she's traveling, she's leaving the country, she's going here. Right now, hell, she in Paris, okay? Now, go figure, she's taking baby Brooklyn up there. Brooklyn don't know nothing about nothing, okay? Everything look cute and she want to crunch on it, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know what Kenya doing. Maybe she's moving and shaking, maybe she's gonna make a film up there. She got some business, she planned on doing some, um. Um, money making moves up there. Let's keep that positive for her. But can you not worry about Nene? You ain't got to worry about Nene. You don't plan on going nowhere since you're back on the show. And she ain't planning on, on going nowhere unless she retire or die off the show. Okay? So y'all get ready. Y'all keep going at each other. Okay? That's what we like. Just don't put no hands on each other. We don't want to see that. Mm -mm, we don't want to feel it at all. You keep making your moves. She keep making her moves. And we're going to see who the better person is. But to me, both of y'all are beautiful in my eyes. Y'all have a different way of getting down. And some similarities when it comes to being the head honcho on the show. So, like I said, you do your thing. She do her thing. And really, we all come to see you and her cut up. Some people want to admit it. I'm going to admit it. That's what I do. I like the drama. And you and Nene definitely give it to me. If I had to sit and watch it with Candy and, and Portia and, and, and Cynthia, whoo, I don't think the show would last, okay? Because Candy, she make her moves in silence. Portia just want to be all over the place like a little pretty princess and all that. And damn, we know Cynthia, she just going to sit up there and, and let people tell her what to do. So what would we have? What would we have without you and Nene? I mean, Kenya Moore and Nene Leakes, y'all are forced to be reckoned with and y'all just learn how to get together. Woo, but anyway, maybe that's uh, later on down the road, okay? And so y'all can decide who's the better person and who's going to be the OG for now, who's going to be the new G. Maybe hey, y'all can... Uh, what do you call it? Unite that way. I don't know, but both of y'all just seeing red and y'all want the prize for yourself. So, till y'all learn how to collaborate, y'all gonna be arch en nemesis and enemies, okay? But I'm forward, I'm forward all day, every day. But that's all I have for this video. Get down in the comments and don't forget to be at your tube watching episode two of Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.